Good afternoon, Pastor Mark here with an update on our church services. I am happy to announce that we are getting ready to meet on site once again. As, as most of you know, our governor has given the green light for all churches in our state to begin meeting again uh, starting this Sunday. And so we will be meeting. I've been ready for weeks. Uh, nevertheless, we are here now and we're gonna start meeting together uh, for live services and in addition to our online services. So praise God for that. I wanted to go over just a few items with you about what that's gonna look like. Um, some things are gonna remain the same. We're not compromising the word of God. We're not compromising our standards and our commitment to him in any way. We will bring the word and the spirit with power and demonstration and many lives will be changed. Uh, however, the way it will look um, is a little bit different than uh, the way things were just a couple of months ago, okay? So I wanna share with you some examples of, of how we're gonna do things uh, this Sunday. Um, first of all, we are going to implement um, some of this distancing that is being recommended to us, you know, staying about six feet away from others. We are uh, removing a large number of seats from our main auditorium just to space the rows out, okay? Uh, and of course, encouraging families to sit together. Um, we'll, we're gonna be doing things like a digital bulletin instead of handing a physical bulletin out at the door. So everyone will be able to access that via our app. Um, also, our cafe is gonna be closed this Sunday. Um, future Sundays uh, are still being worked on, probably be open again very soon. You know, our, our facilities team has been working diligently to clean and sanitize and everything. And the place is spick and span, ready to go, ready, ready for you to come. Uh, they will have hand sanitizers out and they'll be cleaning in between services. So all that stuff's gonna be going on. Just want everyone to know that this is a safe place to be. Um, I mentioned the limited seating. Uh, we are doing some things to help with that. One is we are uh, pumping the service into the youth center as well as we can open up the fusion room to handle more people spreading out. Um, as, as far as uh, our kids go, we have children's ministry classes uh, that will be for uh, grades three, four, and five, okay? And that's the only age this Sunday, and they've got that, their area set up and spread out, and it's gonna be great. For the younger kids, we want families to just stay together. Keep your younger kids with you. Um, if they are, uh, you know, too active, uh, feel free to use some of those additional overflow rooms in the, in the church uh, to take them out of the main auditorium. But I'll tell you personally, I'm prepared a little bit when, while I'm preaching for a little extra noise, and I'll be okay with that. And so uh, our fusion service for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders will not be happening this Sunday, probably will the next, but for this Sunday, that age, they'll also stay in the adult service. Okay, um, things like our offering containers, we're not gonna pass those this week. Giving will be done either digitally or we will have offering containers um, and receptacles on the way out as you exit the building. The ushers are going to be dismissing uh, our service row by row. And just to avoid you know, traffic jams and you know how it is when we have a lot of people here it can be very congested and so they're gonna assist in that way and we sure uh, appreciate everyone helping us out with all of these things i know some of you are thinking i don't even care about all that stuff you know uh, handshaking and hugging and i'm fine with that and, and i understand that personally i'm with you on that but we should be mindful and respectful of others. You don't always know where other people are, where their faith is, what their thoughts are. And, uh, and if you read scriptures, you'll find this principle to be there that we shouldn't just impose what our beliefs are or uh, what we're comfortable with on other people. We should be considerate of, considerate of them. So I do wanna encourage you this Sunday, uh, practice waving and smiling and we're just gonna flow with this and it won't be too long till 
till things are back to normal and I believe better than ever before. And so, uh, you know, when you see people, uh, we're all happy to see each other and ready to uh, renew relationships that we haven't had or at least at this level for some time. Uh, don't freak out if someone sneezes or coughs. <laughs> that doesn't mean they have the virus. Uh, let, let's just, you know, chill and, and enjoy one another and enjoy the presence of God. Uh, lastly, I wanted to let you know that tomorrow we are going to resume our noontime prayer meeting. All right. If you, uh, if you can come and pray with us at noon, it is happening tomorrow. So praise God for that. I look forward to seeing everybody this weekend. Be blessed today.